All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a fun vlog about what do you consider Melina to be. Now, Melina to me is a good-looking female, all right? Now, I know I'm a male. I know I look like a, a really good-looking guy as Marco. Uh, I know I'm not a female, obviously. Obviously, I'm happy to be Marco as a guy. But, but, and I mean, but as Melina, I totally feel like I've gone into, like, not necessarily, you know, full female. I don't feel like a female. I feel like a male dressed up as a female, obviously. But... I mean, I just feel like my look alone, like when I look at myself and see how I'm performing, I see a female. That's I'm not feeling like a female, but I, I see a female in how I perform, right? So, when I, well, not how I perform, but when I see myself perform. So, when I'm watching my channel, I'm watching Melina, I see a, a very good looking female. Now, some people might classify me as looking like a cross-dresser. I mean, these people have all different looks and they don't necessarily fit into one, one thing, but... Some people might classify me as a drag queen. Some people might classify me as transgender. I consider myself a guy dressing up as a girl, or I mean, I guess that's considered a crossdresser to some extent, but as a guy dressing up as a girl and looking like a female supermodel. That's how I consider myself to be. And I think you guys really like it. So I think you guys think the same way, but I really want your feedback. What do you consider me to be now? Am I using words that, that maybe I can, people might consider me like a glamazon or people might consider me like a supermodel or maybe people, Consider me like a cheerleader, a princess, or a queen, or a beauty queen, or a beauty pageant winner, or or that kind of thing. So there's tons of things people could perceive me as. So what do you think? What do you guys think of Melina? What do you think of her look? What do you think of her talent? What do you think of her uh, ability to dress up in the most glamorous outfits and looking so fabulous? What do you think of all that? Do you think of, of do you describe her in words that I haven't come up with? Maybe, maybe she slays and she's fearless and she's fierce and she's vicious on the runway, but maybe you, you have, maybe she's on the catwalk or whatever, but you might consider her doing something else. Maybe, maybe you consider her, I mean, I think, I think people like celebrity types and good looking people that have YouTube channels and people maybe that aren't good looking that have YouTube channels, but people that are creative might have something where they create words and they create words to match their persona maybe they consider like 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 paris Hilton uses the word sliving right like sliving which means uh hmm, i'm not sure what the s stands for i think it's a slaying but it's like sliving so you're slaying life you know kind of thing that's what i'm thinking it's sliving so she calls it she calls you know living sliving you know because she's sliving she's always she's always doing something to make sure she's enhancing the quality of her life you know so i mean that's what she's considered uh, living to be for her, right? So what are there words that you guys describe me as that maybe I haven't used? Are there things that you might be seeing that maybe I don't see? Are there are there words to describe me that you're like, okay, you've described yourself all those ways, but there's better words out there, like there's better words. So let me know what you think, all right? Totally tell me how you feel I am perceived, all right? Let me know. Um, do you consider me a femme fatale? Do you consider me uh, a glam queen, a beauty queen? What do you consider me, you know? Um, and do you have words that are different that maybe I'm using, right? You know, what do you think? Because, I mean, it's important to hear what the fans think. It's really important, right? So I'd like to know what you guys think and how you picture me. Um, it's really important to me, anyway. Uh, I'm thinking it's important to you. You know, for me, I'm a hard worker, and I, though I've done a lot of videos, and I've done a ton of stuff. I don't consider. I, it's almost like I have a block in my mind. It's almost like it's almost like I've done a bunch of stuff. I've done this, this, and that. But if I don't see like the full success laid upon me, and all the achievements like actually being showing to me, then I don't consider myself doing anything. You know. So, I mean, maybe maybe to you guys, you're like, holy, this girl is like so beautiful, and she's so good. She's so talented, uh, she's so pretty, and she looks so good, and she performs so well. I consider her a star already, and she doesn't have to do any more, get any more subscribers to consider herself a star. She's already there. But for me, unless I'm like the big time, like Hollywood, and like I'm not Hollywood yet, but uh, that I'm like the big time Hollywood star, or that I'm like uh, the most glamorous person or on magazines, or or performing live or whatever, which I may never do those things. I might just do YouTube, but unless I'm doing, unless I'm known worldwide or unless I'm, I'm a high achiever, right? Like for me, 
unless I'm doing something where I'm like really well known or like really famous because of it or or doing a really good job that I feel I've, I've mastered it and other people haven't unless I'm there then I'm not going to be thinking I'm doing anything really some people might be like how could you say that like you don't you don't feel like you've done anything like I really don't you know even though I've been on YouTube for a year and a half now maybe a year and 10 months maybe a year and eight months maybe I don't feel I've accomplished much of anything now you might be like oh my goodness and you're, you're kidding me right like look how many good videos you have look how many things and I'm not trying to minimize people that do less or or, or I'm not trying to say that I'm not doing a lot because I am doing a lot but in terms of like let's say you know when I see my good videos yes I've done a lot of good videos but I, I think what it, what I mean by all that is that I could do a lot more and I mean that's you know I think with even someone like Madonna or someone like Katy Perry like they recognize that they're not doing enough because they could do a lot more right like you know when you're someone like that you almost want to you almost wish you could perform 24 7 so that you could I mean obviously I'm not going to I'm healthy and I sleep and everything but I mean you almost wish you could perform 24 7 so that you could have the amount of videos that you perceive to be out there so that you can have all your types of genres and everything you want to be out there so that you're not just sitting at maybe well I have 14,000 videos but you know like Madonna for instance right like she could probably do like 20 more different looks and have had 10 more different albums in the time that she's done the other albums she's done but she wanted to do things for herself she wanted to have social time obviously she wanted to date you know so she's not able to but she probably sees it as unless I'm doing all that I'm not going to be like I kind of want to do more, you know, like creativity, when you know you're creative and you're being recognized for it, you want to give, give, give so that everybody sees how creative you are and that you're not just stuck there thinking, oh, I haven't shortchanged anyone or I've shortchanged everyone, right? So, you know, even though I have, and Madonna's the same way, like I was watching her perform, talk about her fall on stage and she was just like, she was like, you know, people might be thinking, how could you, well, she didn't say this, but she's like, I'm thinking like, People would be thinking, you know, if you fell, you're worried about her, how is she okay, how is she doing? But she's more worried about, did I do a perfect job? How did I come across? You know, so it was, and people always wonder, you know, well, was she sick? Did she faint? But she actually just fell because she, she had, um, her, it was a string tied too tight on her coat, on her, on her, um, on her uh, cape. So it was tied too tight. So then when they pulled her, she fell you know so that was kind of like that was kind of like what happened but but i mean we don't we don't know we don't know till it happened you know and melina fell too right you saw melina falling right so and people like that video it's funny i think it's funny but but i mean you know it's like well how did she fall you know and people will be like oh my goodness she fell but you know the reason why i fell was because i tripped over something my my feet were on like in heels and the mat was the mat was very gripping to my heels, so when I walked backwards, I fell. Right, so that was why I fell. That was why I fell. But someone might be like, oh, maybe he performs too much, or maybe he does this, or maybe she does that. I guess Melina, right? Uh, so maybe she's always doing too much, or maybe she's tired. Or, but really, in reality, it was just because I tripped over my mat, um, and I was. It was late at night, and I was just like tired. But you know, that's that never happens, and right? I never trip. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm really grateful that you guys could stay a while. I'm really pleased. So what are you thinking of the show tonight? Nice, right? Like really nice? I'm looking so good. I'm so happy. So thank you all very much for watching. Now I'm really pleased that you guys could uh, stay, of course. And what do you guys think of the show? Like pretty glamorous, right? Like pretty awesome. I'm liking it. I think it's really good. So I hope you guys uh, watch all my videos. All right, I know this is a lot, but you can catch up on all of them, right? Right, no, I'm just kidding. If you have time to, go ahead, by all means. Uh, but binge watch, totally watch all the time. Share with your friends. Let everybody know I'm it. I'm the big thing, right? The big thing in the world, the biggest thing in the world, right? The big, the big uh, commander, right? So as well as Melina, I'm the big uh, princess, or the most beautiful princess, right? So, you know, let people watch. Uh, tell people to watch, share my channel, click that subscribe button, get into it, it's really, really good. If you're new to my channel, you might be very shocked at how I look, so please just enjoy, like it's fun. 
live a little, you know, and let yourself be like me too. Like, don't just sit there and say, wow, she's so good. I want to be like her and just sit there and mope. You know, be happy that I'm performing for you guys. I want you guys to try to emanate my, emulate my look and be as successful as me. I want you guys to focus on, you know, what, what makes you glamorous and what, what you can do to pump up your glam, you know? So I don't want you sitting at home thinking, oh no, I'm, I'm not glamorous and Melina is when you watch my videos. No, I don't want you to think that way at all. I want you to think, this is what I can do for myself. Look at me, I'm glamorous today. Look at me, I, I, I put on makeup and I look good. Or maybe I didn't put makeup on and my skin is so good and I look so fresh today. Or maybe you're just like, you're just like, I wore something nice today and I feel really good and I'm not worried about how I come across or whether I'm self-conscious or not. You, know, you should feel good about yourself. And even if you're not the most attractive person in the world, you should really be able, you should be able to wear bikinis, right? Look, seriously doesn't matter what you look like you should not feel like you are stuck there sitting there at home moping because you can't go to the beach or whatever like every every good looking person would go to the beach in a bikini uh every good looking girl or every good looking guy would wear a speedo or whatever they wear i'm not sure i would i would I, I mean i wear a speedo but some people might think that's too much but but i do wear a speedo when i go to the beach but but yes everybody might be thinking you know can i do that like, can i am i allowed yes of course you are why not right Thank you all for watching. All right, bye.